birds and night owls. My name is Nox, aka Mako, and welcome back to RimWorld. So this is the last episode of this series in particular, and we will be going out and attacking somebody. But who that is, I have yet to see because, well, we do have quite a few pirates around us, and do we have enough food for that? Let's see. How much food do we have? 260 plus 124. Yeah, it seems like we might have enough food to maybe just get mostly everybody. I want to send all but five because we need five to maybe watch over this here because again I will be using this save file on my own time to play this through and see how far I can get with what I was intending to do which was pirating everybody around us and trying to keep our original five colonists alive which are one two three four and five these guys are still alive although they're missing parts but you know what <laughs> that's okay that's okay because that happens basically and we can just replace that it's not a big deal Right now we are working on giving the hens a proper pen, and that also entails killing any animals that come in here, so we have to- we've already had to murder quite a few things. It looks like, uh, did we only get four? Battery broke down, there was a party, that's okay. Did we only get four hen- we only got four hens! Oh, I didn't re realize that! Oh, I, I was like, oh gosh, is it like thundering? No, I actually just flashed over that. So we only have four hens. Oh no, there's a heat wave. Well, the bright side is that I'm pretty sure the hens are going to be okay. Yeah, they're going to be okay in the heat wave. If it was a look, entirely different problem though, like a cold snap, they would not survive that at all. So heat wave okay, cold snap not, not okay for hens. Gotta remember that because we're going to have to cover them up and put some, well, put some heaters over here. And let's see, did I ever make a zone for their hay? It seems like I did not. So let's go ahead and add a nice little sunk pile zone right over here for hay only. So let's make sure that this only says hay. Critical and just hay. We of course want to make one. I thought I... I, I don't know why I thought I did one before, but whatever. Alright, we're going to do just a small one for these guys over here. So copy these settings, paste it over here, and hopefully we'll get some hay. Like, just, just all over there just in case. Because, you know, we, we can feed them potatoes, but... I don't know. I don't know if I want to actually give them people food because we're going to need the people food ourselves. I mean, after all, we are gonna probably eat all these. Did I just see a dog in there? The dogs are all in there. Well, I guess that's what happens when you have hauling. Wait, 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 wait. You guys aren't hauling. Oh, well, they, I guess they probably hunt a little bit, and I guess the pig is also going to do the same thing, huh? Yeah, seems like that's the case. Well, I mean, we're gonna lose some meals that way, and we're, okay, we need to hunt, like, right now, because we are basically out of food. Wow, this pig is all the way up here. Weird, but okay. Sure, so we have an emu there. Let's see. Hmm. There's no meat? There's no meat anywhere. What? Oh, <clears throat> yeah, no, never mind. There's definitely meat over here. Let's go ahead and hunt all of those guys because we will send off enough hunters for that. And let's hunt the turkeys as well. Let's hunt this ostrich there. And is that it? Oh, look at that. There's friends down here that we're going to eat. All right, so we'll hunt all of that down. Ooh, spicy meat. Always could go for some spicy meat, but I don't know if that's a... Uh-oh. How is this already happening? Ty, seriously, buddy. You got this. You're a much better shot than that. Is it because you're wearing that thing? Oh, well, he, he got it anyway, so it doesn't really matter too, too much. Is this our timber wolf? It is not, so we have to be very careful because our pigs are roaming around, and that thing will attack our pigs if we don't do something about it soon. All right, and as for these guys, of course, we're doing the murderization pretty quickly here, so I'm not at all concerned. However, it looks like... We left some good stuff out here, and we need to pick it up. So let's see. Lynx, what are you up to? Carrying a fine meal, hunting ostrich, uh, consuming simple... Oh my gosh, is nobody not doing anything? Cooking, hmm, cooking, sowing hay grass. We need that. Okay, Zima instead, come over here. You're brawler. Yeah, you're not. You're never going to use that. And Beamer seems to be in a pretty bad mood. What is wrong with you, dude? Very hot. Oh, well, maybe take off your clothing? I, I don't know. Like, seriously, just take off your, your winter stuff, because you clearly don't need that. Hopefully, though, we can get to building these things up pretty soon, so we'll have this all good and well. And, oh, it seems like the little roosters are starving a little bit, even though there's grass right here. What are you roosters doing? Oh, the bunny's here. <laughs> We're going to have to grab someone, but the roosters have food. They, they're simply just not eating, so that's a little bit bizarre, but uh, they're going to be however they want to be, apparently. The heat wave is finally over, so I think it's safe for us to actually head out now. 
because of course I was afraid that at first you know if we left too few people behind then we'd have issues with the heat wave kind of killing us and also we did a lot of hunting because there were alpha beavers that showed up on the map thank goodness that we ended up with well it doesn't really look like we oh we're eating these meals what is going on that we apparently don't have enough food that they're eating those meals that's a little bit strange Ooh, look at this wild boars yes let's eat those we don't want them anywhere near our homes. And there's even a turkey over here. Ooh, another boar. Sure, I'll take all the boars we can get. <laughs> another boar, sure. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and rhyme. And prison break. Oh, boy. Ah, oh, jeez. All right, Allie, I'm going to need you to wake up. And Agara, wake up. Oh, Agara's actually going to wreck people. Okay, I need Agara to actually focus on somebody. So attack there. You can attack Doctor. Compost, go ahead and attack Chang. Bennett, well, the prisoners may all die right now, because, <laughs> uh, honestly, though, well, like, I don't know how they're going to survive this. Dave, I'm going to need you to choppy choppy and get over here, and maybe you can find Robin, so that Robin can, where, where the heck is, Robin, how are you, you're attacking, okay, you're hunting right now. Robin, I'm going to need you to chase after Pointy as well, just in case Pointy manages to get away, because, of course, we're trying right now. We're trying to get them all gathered together and beat them all up, but of course we have more prisoners right now than people, so we're going to need... You two are making love, so I'm not going to bother you two. Let's go ahead and get you over here. Please beat up Doctor, because he's beating people up. Penelope, come over here and beat up Bateman if you can. Coulson, welcome to the party, Coulson. Beat up Ayano, please, and thank you. Morgan, I know you're already, like, super messed up, but please beat up Chang, and hopefully that's going to be enough. I know our people should be a little bit stronger, because we do have... Oh, the muffalo is helping out. That's so cute. Oh, cupcake the muffalo is helping, I should say. All right, Agara, good. Oh, who's shooting? Do not shoot. Colonist needs rescue. Who fell down? Compost. Compost, are you okay? Eh, you look pretty messed up right now, but that's okay. It doesn't look like you lost anything. So who the heck is actually shooting, though? Ty, are you? No, you're attacking. Watching for targets. I don't think so. Let's attack uh, Pointy there and Allie. Let's make sure you're okay. You are going to attack Doctor. About time, and I don't think anybody else is around unless somebody grabbed a gun, which would suck. Oh, it's Bennett. It's Bennett. <laughs> Bennett, no. Bad Bennett. Let's uh, attack Ayano. Bennett, you could actually shoot Compost, and things would not end up well for you there. All right, you go ahead and beat up Ines. Capture Inessa? Uh, what? You can do that? Oh, it was somebody on the ground. Oh, that was Robin. Oh, I didn't realize. Hey! Be careful! What are you doing? Alright, let's go ahead and start capturing people because apparently enough people are down that we can do this. So capture Pointy, capture whoever else, capture Chang, sure. Let's make sure that none of the prisoners are up. I think we knocked them all down, so that's good. Alright, and poor Ty. Oh, we have to rescue Ty. Go ahead and capture Doctor. And let's see, who else is around here? We have a bunch of guns on the ground. Let's rescue Compost, and I think Ayano has to get picked up. Alright, and you capture Ayano, and that should be it. Morgan, you are free to go. Morgan, you didn't even get hurt. Nice job. Alright, so yeah, we have uh, a lot of blood here. The Muffalo is somehow... Alright, you guys go get treated. Well, I guess that put a, a very big, big uh, pause to our plans for now, because all these guys have got to get treated, and of course we... Uh-oh. There's no breaks, you guys. Apparently, there's just meant to be no breaks whatsoever. Well, of course we're going to deal with this, but for now, we have to wait because we need to heal up before we do that. But, of course, we could do another setup just like this to make sure that we have everything we need since that seemed to work out well enough. And now, though, we do have a better cover here for our EMP grenader, so that's going to work pretty well. And we are pretty close to home, so we can already use the power house over here. And look at these. There's four of these right here. We don't even need to build anything over here. We can just build our, um... We could. We could. Yeah, let's do it. Let's just do it just because it's going to be maybe a little bit safer for us. So let's go ahead and do it right across the way over here. We're going to do one, two, three, four. Drop uh, two wall spaces there. Do the same thing for two wall spaces over here. One, two wall spaces there. All right, so that, something like that, I guess, will probably work out super well for us. And if we need the extra room, we're going to do it over here as well. Ooh, do need that one there. There we go. All right, so now we have this going for us. Hopefully, we can do this soon because, of course, we want to get rid of that psychic ship as soon as possible. Otherwise, it's going to start messing with our moods, and that will not be okay at all. Um, I think I'm going to move this one up just because we're going to really use it somewhere else. So let's go ahead and add it to this side here. And let's see, do we have any other ones floating around? somewhere throughout the colony no it looks like i never ended up moving them so hey good on me <laughs> good on me for sure and hopefully there's mostly just scythers in there that's a really weird thing for me to say but i say this just because scythers are 
the safest thing for us to deal with in this circumstance because of course Cyrus can only focus on one of these at a time instead of just focusing on a mass area which is what centipedes usually do and that's really not what we need at this moment. Our defenses are ready now. Unfortunately, though, it seems like Campos and Ty are not completely healed. They're still pretty bruised up, and... Sensory Mechanites. I mean, they do have better, uh, I don't know, better pain tolerance, I guess you could say. Or is it actually more pain? Never mind, it's actually more pain. They can see better, they can hear better, they can talk better, apparently, and they can manipulate better, which might be... Oh, wait, they can manipulate better? What the heck? How do you add that up? Who else has sensory, <laughs> sensory mechanites here that we can actually look at who might have... Yeah, okay, you do get enhanced manipulation. I was like, what is going on here? Like, that doesn't make any sense, no. Totally makes sense. However, they, their consciousness is not so good. They're gonna, feel, they're gonna feel tired all the time. So, I guess we're gonna have to let them sleep for just one night before we can deal with this. Let's see, uh, drone level currently low. It landed uh, 1.6 days ago. So, for our EMP grenades, I decided to give those to Robin, because of course we're gonna need somebody who can actually run away from this area very, very quickly in case things start to look super dangerous, but he can, uh, he can basically get in and out of battle pretty well. Does he have a armor vest? Yes, he does. Uh, however, it's not really the best. An eclipse? Well, okay, yeah, we can't really tell easily how, uh, whether it's day or night with the eclipse, but that's okay. I can just look at the time and we'll be okay. As for who we are going to attack, well, we have here an item stash that we can go to, but of course, that's not attacking. We can go and do this one, because that's probably going to be the easiest thing to do, and then maybe if we have enough food, we could go to this on the way, but of course, that's going to take a heck of a lot of time, so we might just do like a minor thing and just attack an outpost, because that's going to be the fastest way to, you know, tell our enemies that they don't belong here. This, is, this place was not meant for them at all, and hopefully they'll actually get the message. I don't know if they will, but hey... Hopefully it'll work, and let's see, our Muvalos are in a little bit of an area where we don't want them to be. So, for our animals, let's see, Muvalos, we're gonna have to move all of our animals out of here, otherwise, guess what's happening? They are not at all gonna move, and they're gonna stay just where they are. So we're gonna move, let's see, let's just move all the pigs there, and maybe even all of the animals there, just in case we have eggs there, they can eat them, you know, if they're actually hungry. And into the not hens area, I suppose we can probably just move all of these guys. And hopefully it can stay there. You too, Cupcake. I don't know why you're unrestricted. You really shouldn't be. So please go to those areas, to your designated areas, and just chill out there until we're done with this thing. Oh, look at that. There, there are actually eggs here, and we're not picking them up because they're forbidden. I, I really don't like when that happens, but eh, it happens. And the dogs can eat them. I really don't care because right now we have, uh, I was going to say more than enough food, but maybe we don't. How many meals do we have overall? 246. Uh, what, what's happening with these meals? Of course, we get a solar flare right now. All right, so uh, apparently we're not attacking right now because the solar flare is going to pro prohibit our guns from firing. So it seems like it's always one thing after another, and Randy just doesn't want this to happen for whatever reason. Uh-oh. It looks like this thing emitted a pulse that made nearby animals mad. Unfortunately, though, it seems like it was just a tortoise, unless this turkey's coming for us. <laughs> no, it's just a tortoise. Whew, boy. All right, so where is it Where is it now? It's, uh, well, we're, we're trying. Lynx, why are you hiding inside? Okay, Robin, I'm going to new, not need you. Let's go ahead and get uh, Lynx as well over here to try to murderize this thing fast because we need a gun. Maybe even Stein Thorson. Come over here, buddy. We're going to need your help here to decimate this poor little tortoise. And Dave can probably do a heck of a lot of damage to it, so I'm, I'm sure that's... Uh-oh. Ty... Ty, what are you doing? Get inside. Get inside. Don't, don't, don't do that. All right, there you go. Whew. This tortoise is, uh, very dodgy. I mean, I don't know how it's missing everything. How it's, uh, how we're missing it, I should say. Let's see if we can get Ty over here shooting it a little bit, too. Oh, boy. So we're shooting our own guns, which is really not ideal, but we will have the time to, you know, repair them. This is a very hardy animal. Jeez. It has a gunshot injury to the eye, and it's still just like, I'm gonna go and get you. I don't know how it's to use this. All right, there we go. Good. Whew. All right, everybody, you're free to go. Dave, stop attacking, and it's uh, just down, so let's just finish hunt. Oh, we can just finish it off, huh? Didn't realize that was a thing, but yes, please fix everything, because we need that done for, uh, well, we go and attack, because if we don't have everything that we need, we're going to be in for a lot of trouble. And drone. Uh-oh. Um, every human like in the area now feels more disturbed, terrified, and apparent. That's what I wanted to avoid, but unfortunately, it seems like that was just not going to happen. And Hen 4 is being attacked by a Timberwolf. This is what I was worried about. This is why I wanted to keep them locked up. But unfortunately, it was just not meant to happen. So, Agara, I'm going to need you to fire in here and not try not to... Actually, Allie's right over here. 
She can just attack from like right behind this tree or something, or maybe not even behind that tree. But Agira, please, I'm gonna need you to like stand right next to it and shoot up into it. This poor hen is probably gone, is goner. Yeah, it looks like that's the case. She was just trying to eat. She was just trying to eat. And the timber wolf was just like, nah, I don't think so. Get up there. I don't know if she's gonna live. Oh, wow. Well, she's gonna live. However, she's not gonna be the best walker, but wow. Allie just took like one shot and murderized that timber wolf. Jeez. All right, quickly, quickly, people. We have to actually take care of this poor little hen because, of course, uh, animals. What are you? Are you ours? You thank goodness you're ours. Can you rescue? Rescue reserved by Morgan. Morgan, where are you? Are you close or are you? F you're all the way across there. I don't think so. Actually, Allie's a doctor, isn't she? So please rescue that and make sure that Allie. Go, 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 go. Hen operation time. Yeah, you're gonna. Oh, what? Is this ours? That's not ours. What is it doing here? Oh boy, that's not a good spot. <laughs> that's really not a good spot for this. Let's uh, make a brand new one because that thing is actually proving pretty dangerous. I think we're going to have to try to rescue it somehow just because. So let's go ahead and do another one of these maybe down here. And uh, Gara, I'm going to need you to rescue this thing. Please and thank you so it won't actually blow up in our spot. And Allie, can you please? Yes, thank you. Oh boy, a lot of problems as usual, and uh, it's extreme, so hopefully it doesn't blow up in our faces. It's 85%. I think we got this. I think we're gonna be okay. And I like how the dogs are actually eating the timber wolf. That's great. All right, so is anybody actually gonna take care of this thing, or is it just gonna sleep? You're not a doctor, are you? Oh, that would be interesting. Sure, let's do that. Let's just get rid of it by putting it in the crypto sleep casket. It's not like we're doing anything with it. And solar flare is ending finally. So even though it's 22 hour, it's 2200. We're gonna go ahead and do the attacking anyway. Let's see, Hen 4, I know you're hungry and everything like that, but please be okay. I know you lost your beak, you lost your tail, you lost your right foot. You can still walk a little bit, right? All right, so we're ready. Even though these guys aren't, they're probably very tired, they probably just want to sleep, we're ready. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and tuck Robin right up into this area right here. Chai, I guess we can probably put you there, there. We're gonna need Dave and Gara, was it? Yeah, Dave and Gara, basically right in the middle. That way they can attack with their Big guns, and that's what we need them to do. And let's see, let's get to Colin there, Stein Thorsten over here. Although Stein Thorsten can't really reach from there, so let's put him over there. Beamer, Beamer, you can join us over there. Singer as well over there. Zima, you're the one who's gonna get attacked from, well, hopefully all angles, so that way nobody else will be getting attacked. Allie there, Lumi also has a snipper rifle. Let's make them have a nice clear area so they can attack with their guns. That's what we need. Robin already has this position. You are going to go up here. Morgan, do you have a position? No, you do not. So you're gonna go out right in the middle, basically wherever anybody can see you, because uh, well, well, we don't have any more cover for you, so I'm, I apologize, okay? And that should be everybody. All right, so let's go ahead and get to this, and hopefully, what was it, Zima? Uh-oh. Zima's the one who's not in good mood. So, I mean, the bright side, he has a shield belt, so maybe that's gonna be okay. Not so bright side is that I'm pretty sure he's gonna ruin things for us, but uh, hopefully he doesn't. All right, so who's lagging behind? Nobody? Okay, we're ready, you guys. Although, it seems like we m might be missing somebody. Are we not? I'm gonna assume we're not. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab, let's see, Penelope, Allie, Colin, and Lumi. You four, please. Wow, we can't even reach there. Okay, you four are gonna have to move up. Actually, let's just get Lumi to do it. I mean, Lynx, right? Lynx has a leg? Yeah, she does. Alright, Lynx, come over here. We're gonna need you with your special leg abilities and just attack that, and you're gonna run. Oh boy, okay, well, my wish came true. Mostly scythers, however, we have to move up. We definitely have to move up because the scythers can definitely attack us from over here. However, Link's move. Oh boy. Uh, Robin, <laughs> uh, Robin, sir, are you gonna, you, okay, I, I guess you got this. Sure, there we go, stun that one. You have to move over here though, Robin, because of course you have to stun the rest of these. And make sure that they don't get you before you get them. No, 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 over here. Oh, you can't do that, you have to actually go around. Well, Robin, rest in peace, maybe? Your wife is not gonna be happy about that, though. <laughs> Let's see, Robin, over. Over here, there you go. Maybe toss it, like, over the, on that guy. This poor guy, though, this guy's just like, whatever. Ouch! Okay, who got hit? Zima. Oh, Zima, you lost your, uh... Ouch. Okay, yeah, go go run. Run, because apparently you don't have a shield belt right now. Robin, uh, do your thing. There we go. Oh, you only got one. That's not good. G grab this guy. Oh, run, 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 run,
Headshot, but he didn't die. Wow, this guy is super hardy. Ouch. Okay, so that one's stunned. Good, good. And can we actually reach any of these guys? Oh, we can. We definitely can. All right, so Robin, I'm going to need you to move up here so you can get this. Oh, that one's focusing on you. <laughs> oh, adapted. No. Get in there. Get in there. Start throwing out the fires, please. Yes, good. And that one's like going crazy. It's just like, what? Robin, dude, oh, how'd you get on fire? You're, you had one job, dude. You had one job just to take out the fires, and you instead decided that you wanted to get on fire. <sighs> sometimes, you guys, sometimes I really have to wonder about some of these guys. All right, so Robin and Zima are the only ones hit, really, for now, and it seems like we're not really getting too many shots off. These guys are maybe doing some of the jobs. I don't know. Oh, look at that. Robin actually got one off, although it's a little bit too late, buddy. It's a little bit too late. Oh, nice. Stunned. All right, let's see if we can come around here and try to stun these guys, because I think we are fi we're definitely firing on some of these them, so that's good. That's actually good. So let's see. Uh-oh. One of those is about to blow. Robin, I need you to stop right there and take a shot if you can. You might lose a leg, but whatever. You know what? We already gave you one. You can get another one. Go on. Move, 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 buddy. Woo! Nice. Stunned them all. All right, so we can actually reach those. That one's down. Robin, just hide there for now. How's this looking? Because they've been actually shooting this. All right, so we have our snipers actually working on these guys. Hopefully they do walk like closer, so uh, that way we can take more shots at them. But for now, it seems like that's all we're going to get, for just for now. And Zima, you're charged up. Good for you, buddy. Let's get, let's get you out here, even though you're bleeding a little bit. Oh, gosh. You're focusing on these. Aha. That's a problem. So let's uh, try to do this, and s let's see. If we move all of you guys up over here, will you be able to shoot from here? Because I know you guys have pretty good range. Is this Muffalo following somebody? Cupcake. Cupcake. Well, have I told you? Cupcake not in the midst of battle. Okay. Ooh, Zima did get hit. Can you guys fire or no? It looks like you can't, even though Beamer should technically. Oh, Zima, now it's time to run. Now it's that was when you run, okay? Now is when you just decide that you don't want to do this anymore. And the eclipse is finally ending after like 5,000 years. All right, Robin, I'm going to need you to come out again and try this again. Because clearly we're being very pathetic right now. How are you guys uh looking right now? Ooh. You guys have lost quite a few pieces, so that's not that bad. All right, take a shot in there. Oh, boy. Robin, run. Robin, run. Robin, run. Run, 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 run boy. Good boy. All right. So now we're going to grab our line here that we just brought up here, and we're going to take them closer, except for Zima. We don't need Zima. Zima's going to just get killed, basically. All right, you kids. I need you to scoot up here, and Robin's going to try to take care of these guys. Actually, Robin, you can stay over here. You're good. You're definitely really good. All right. So you kids... I need you taking shots of that right now, right away. Mm hmm. Maybe we can have, uh, let's see, a Gera as well, huh? Let's have a Gera moving up in here. And do we have Dave over there? Dave is actually still chilling over here. Dave, come over here, buddy. We're going to need you over here. You, sir, are the, you're the key, Dave. You and Agera are the keys here to finishing this thing off very quickly. Or not. I guess you guys didn't really do much. Well... That was easy peasy lemon squeezy, <laughs> although, you know, a few, two people got hurt, but that's okay. All right, you, this group here, I'm going to need you guys to actually dispatch of this thing. Robin, Robin, go home. Yeah, yeah, take out, take out that terrible thing that apparently ruined you at some point. And these guys are all completely dead, so we're, we got nothing off of them, which, which, it sucks. It sucks, but I guess that's okay sometimes. All right, so let's go ahead and attack this thing until it's completely gone and we get the goodies. Ooh, look at those goodies. Although, I mean, we don't really need the money right now, but I mean, maybe we do. Maybe we do. I don't know. But whatever the case, uh, I guess now is just trying to recuperate what we lost and our injuries and whatnot. I guess we didn't really lose anything, did we? Well, recuperate our injuries and hope for the best once we head out and attack our enemies. Our caravan is just about at its destination, which means we are about to get into a fight. Hopefully there's not too many people there because, of course, things would be bad. Also, I don't know if I pointed this out, but I did sell off most of our prisoners to a pirate ship because they've been eating way too much food. Ooh, traders. Sure, let's trade. Bennett cannot talk properly. Oh, whatever. So let's see. Can we actually sell anything? We can sell the wool cloth. I guess it's fine. We can sell berries. Wait, where do we get berries from? <laughs> what the? I don't know how that happened, but uh, no, I'm going to keep those berries. We can definitely use those for something. And do they have anything else that we could potentially use? They have a lot of raw meat, which human meat. Oh, boy. That's going up a direction that I don't even want to touch upon. All right, so let's go ahead and move on because, of course, we're just about to where we want to be. And also, we don't want to attack friends just yet. It's not the time for that. I will do that, you know, during my own playtime. Anyway, 
let's see what's going on over here and where we actually got dropped off because of course oh geez <laughs> I love when this happens. I love it when the game just drops you off right in front of the enemy. Like, that's the, that's the best thing ever. Alright, so it looks like we can go in all guns blazing because all we have is one turret and four people. So that's definitely good. However, what I want to do first is I actually want to move our muffalo calf. Excuse me? Uh, okay, well, I, I do want to move, move the muffalos over here. That's uh, That has me baffled right now that they had a muffalo calf while they were en route over here. That also sucks, but, you know, because now we have to drag extra... Well, we have to have extra meat for this thing. Also, how far do we go? So we can go up to these bushes here. Which, I guess it's fine because I want to go to the trees instead. Because, well, we we need to stay covered. Let's go to those trees here and hopefully they'll come out for us. Oh, or we can attack from here. That works too. And, I mean, I'm okay with um, coming close to death. Because, of course, we have... Oh, Colin Missing Treatment. Who is it? It's Allie. You're going to be fine. Oh, you got hit by a minigun. Hold on. Hold on. That is not okay. You move up. You move up, and Robin still has that. That's not okay. Zima, you were supposed to be up here. Zima, Zima, seriously. Do your job right. Oh, what was that? That was an EMP grenade, wasn't it? Zima, do your job right. Ouch. Ouch. Zima, seriously, dude. All right, stabby, stabby. Come on. You guys got this. You guys got... There, wait, wait, where did everybody else come from? The heck? What is that? Oh, everybody move. Everybody move, move, move. Because, of course, we don't want to die. Move, everybody. Bennett, you too. That includes you, buddy. And Dave got knocked out. Oh, ow. <laughs> Poor Dave. Well, I mean, on the bright side, we do have... He was carrying nine meals. But yeah, on the bright side, we have, like, plenty of arms and legs. Oh, wow. They really took down Zima. Right foot shot off. Ouch. Yeah, that hurts. But, I mean, that's what happens when you kind of go... Wow, Bennett got taken out just that quickly, too. That sucked. There we go. Killed somebody else there. Like I said, this is all just going in guns blazing and taking out whoever we can, and... Well, risking death just because we can. Did, did I just see something in there? Okay, I did see something in there. And I see quite a few people down. Frag grenades, yep. Ouch, a permanent gunshot injury to the eye. Penelope died, Lumi died, Coulson has died. There we go, we're killing our people, you guys. That's the point of this whole thing. And we just lost some more people. But hey, look at this. We have some people who are still alive, surprisingly. Bennett somehow lived through all of that, even though he's about to die in any second now. And the few people that we have left here are trying to take down Phelps and actually took down Phelps. Nice. Can we get the last person down? Nice. Is there, is there still somebody there? Oh, we're still trying to take this out. Well, I mean, that's fine. Quest completed. Wait, what? A payment from Southwest Wazium has arrived. In fact, I didn't realize that we were going to... Oh, right. We do get payments for these things. I was like, huh? Payment? Well, you guys, guess what? We just lost a bunch of colonists just because we could. And we got a mega screen TV for risking our lives and t uh, trading off two of our starting colonists. Unfortunately, though, we didn't lose all our colonists, which sounds messed up, but that was the point. We were supposed to lose all of our starting colonists. So let's go ahead and attack another one and see if we can maybe die. <laughs> oh, that sounds so messed up, but seriously, though, let's go ahead and try to die. Well, I take it back. It seems like we're losing more and more people as the time goes by because of blood loss. That's what mur that's what's murdering us all right now. So let's see if we can maybe get some more meds from something here. I don't know where the meds are hiding. And it seems like we only have one doctor because Moo did go down. So I'm going to just assume that somebody else is about to die. Okay, so Allie's sending to Ty. Oh, Ty has only 2.7 hours left. Wow. Good job, Allie, for jumping on top of that. I mean, that, that means that we're probably going to end up with maybe two of our starters living, which... She just went berserk. Out of nowhere, she went berserk. And look at Lynx just running. Like, oh, I'm not dealing with that. Even though you did not actually heal up. Allie, wow, what is wrong? Oh, I guess everybody's not really in a good mood. That does make sense. You just saw a bunch of death. All your friends just died around you. I'm surprised she's not actually beating people up. Let's see. Witness allies death times five. Yeah, that's not going to help out ever. And, I mean, I guess it's all our stuff, huh? So let's see. Is this actually our all ours? Can we... Say, where, where? Where's, oh, claim, my gosh. I don't know how I missed that. All right, there we go. We can claim this all, but it really doesn't matter now, does it? Because it's still going to try to attack her because she is berserk, which is a little bit sad. Let's see, where the Lynx, Lynx? Lynx? Lynx is, you're the only one up. Oh, you're trying to eat. Poor Lynx. Lynx is like all around like, oh my god, everybody died. And here I am with my superior leg, still surviving and not actually bleeding out. <laughs> Somehow, I don't know how she did it, but she is like a magician right now. So, I guess uh, Allie's going to leave everybody else to die. 1.7 hours. Moo, can you actually get up at all? No, you can't. So, Ty's dead. And Moo is the only survivor from our original group. Just because she was tended to first by Allie. 
which is uh, special. Agira, wow, you're up. Oh, you didn't even get hit much either. Morgan, how are you doing? Oh, Morgan's about to die too. Rest in peace, Morgan. It was nice having you. You are actually a credit to the colony overall. And let's see, Zima, you are also going to bleed out at some point unless somebody gets their act together. But it doesn't seem like that's going to happen. So we lost mostly everybody. Oh, look at that. Finally, Hen4 actually healed. <laughs> that's so nice. Thank you, Hen4, for coming back to the colony. I guess you are going to be one of the next starters. Wow, we actually ended up with some Luciferium. Not bad. Not bad at all. And let's see. Lynx is good. Agera is good and hanging out over here. Moo is still resting. Who's still alive? Zima's about to die soon, though, right? Yeah, Zima's dead. Allie actually killed over because she's... Oh, she's bleeding a lot. Do we have a doctor who's up yet? I don't think you're up yet. Nope. Okay, so we don't actually have a doctor who's alive so i mean we're kind of stuck with ally dying as well wow okay so we ended up with three people left after coming over here and attacking recklessly which again as i said was the point we want to see how many people could kill and well even after all this time one of the originals still survived which means that Mu was the hardiest one of them all especially since you know she she's a doctor and she tended to most of her wounds all the time well not all the time most of the time so that makes some kind of sense, and I am proud of her. Congratulations, Moo. You are the winner. Let's just go ahead and clap. I know this wasn't a challenge, but I'm just I'm clapping for her anyway just because that was um pretty special. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We have a crazy muffalo here. Well, I guess that happens sometimes. It's actually trying to take out all kinds of things. But yeah, that's what happens when you have mass death in your colony, which usually doesn't happen unless we go into things recklessly and... I try to avoid recklessness as much as possible just to avoid this bloodbath that happened here. But yeah, that is it for this uh, Alpha 17 series. I will be back with more RimWorld for a little bit during uh, Alpha 18. Well, you know, when it's released. I say just a little bit, though, because it's really not one of the more popular series on the channel. It's just, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I, my way of playing this game is weird for some people. I don't know. But whatever the case, I will be playing it again because this is my favorite game of all time. Anyway, if you enjoy this episode, hit that like button to share your support, and do subscribe if you already haven't. But anyways, always, thank you so much for watching, and have an awesome night.